<laughs> oh no, the pink <laughs> Let's do it. So when the plane animation comes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, welcome my friends to another Warzone video, or Call of Duty video in general, Warzone Blunder. We're going to do tips and tactics, and as you can see, there's a huge chunk, as always, with these types of games, this genre with luck. And uh, yeah, running over a hill into a full squad when you're solo, trying to recover your mates, is not the best situation to be in. But with all that being said, today we're going to give some tips and tactics, and uh, some, maybe some tricks to improve your game, or just generally have more fun with, uh, with Warzone and Blunder. So let's kick things off with did you know when jumping from the plane you can deploy and cut your parachute pushing forwards will give you more momentum and speed and when you start to drop off deploy your parachute again and repeat until you get to the location further if you watch your minimap in the top left you'll notice you are going faster than those just with their parachute yes you may not reach quite as far but you will get to that destination quicker timing it perfectly into an entrance or on a rooftop to a gun you could then return fire on those that possibly maybe shooting you from their parachute yes which is our next tactic if you cut your parachute you'll notice your gun will come out and you can fire upon those others in their parachute next to you above you below you slightly though you do drop fast and you've got to concentrate on when you're uh, gonna hit the ground because if you don't deploy after you've cut the rope you will smush into the ground but it's good fun though you can have some epic sky fights two quick little bonus tips here to slide on the floor while sprinting press the crouch button and to do that cool execution animation, press and hold your melee button behind the player that you want to do it to. And uh, it will do a little animation, the normal melee animation, just quickly on their back and then kick into the animation while you're holding that melee button. And it will do a one kill, one hit, one kill animation thing. It's pretty cool. And you do it in style. But do be careful not to do it around their teammates because uh, it's not going to end well. Getting back on track, all doors are closed by default. So if you are thinking you're safe, uh, but you see an open door in your town, there is another player there. If you're sure it's not your teammates, then uh, look, look, check, watch your back, watch your six. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying, but you know, there's somebody else there. Just don't oh, die. <laughs> oh no! Oh. I was laughing too much at him. But if you are that worried, you can always go and buy a UAV from the shop crate. One UAV will identify players not using Ghost in your close vicinity via a red dot on your radar at the top left of your screen. Two will identify at a wider radius and three will give you direction via red arrows instead of dots and elevation. But again, it will not show up people using the Ghost perk. I think that's right. That's pretty much what I gathered from the UAV thing anyway. I thought it was pretty handy to know. So if your whole team deploys UAVs all at once, you get a pretty good idea of where players are. Unless they're a Ghost and they're probably right behind you. How about a little plunder bonus tip for you? If you see somebody deploying a balloon deposit, then you can kill them and destroy the balloon, and the money will spill all over the floor. You can steal their money. Uh, so yeah, watch out and make sure you're keeping your balloon safe in plunder because they can do it to you. In plunder, you're also using your own loadouts that you customize on the main menu in the gunsmith. So make sure you've got the best possible weapon loadouts for you that you like, your weapons, your your favorite weapons, and your best perks like. I, I like to run Ghost, Cold Blooded, and something else bonusy, you know. So you, you, UAVs don't see you so much, and uh, thermal scopes because they are a pain in the ass right now. So make sure you've got your nice weapons loaded out. You level them up. Plunder is also good for leveling up, by the way. You know, I'm going on a bit of a rant here with it on the on the plunder kind of side of things, but plunder is good to level up your weapons. Is normal respawns. If you die, you respawn back in with your loadout, and you can keep going and practicing and go with those high octane areas, those action packed areas, and just level the crap out of your gear and uh, unlock all those special stuff but don't forget you can also use your custom loadouts in the warzone battle royale mode you need to buy a loadout drop marker from the buy station for six thousand dollars throw that little smoke grenade on the floor and you can all choose your own custom loadouts with your perks because you don't start by default with your perks and you get those from your loadout drop marker which is a great tip but if you die of course in battle royale you will lose all of those weapons and somebody else will then get your sweet sweet gear if you haven't got quite enough for a loadout drop marker or anything else on the on the buy station, you can always press your drop key, which is tab default, and drop ammunition, armor, and money for your team to kind of collectively get the right amount that you need to call in that loadout drop marker. So what we do is drop all the money on the floor, then one person picks it up, buys loadout drop and armor plate, 
bundles and we all get geared up pretty pretty heavily to carry on with our mission which is to hopefully not die which will happen if you spend too much time at a buy station so make it quick if you do die though and then fail in the gulag you can be revived for $4,500 by your teammates and I think this can be done as many times as long as your teammates have enough money so if you're just so unlucky you keep dying they can keep buying you back in at least until end game where you just can't get to a buy station but let's just hope you're not the one that's uh that's dying all the time eh because uh be a bit awkward wouldn't it and finally for today's video positioning and knowing those zones if you know where the zone's kind of roughly gonna head try and like see into the future where that zone might be and make sure you've got the best positioning now map knowledge comes in big time with this if you already know the map pretty well you can get into that 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 prime location the high spot the high ground they would say and uh, you know have eyes down on your enemy but uh, you know sometimes it doesn't always work out like that as you can see here Oh, inside. How do we get in? I don't know. Can we even? Ah! We can't get in, can we? Don't need a roof. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now that wasn't the best situation to be in i know the roof was literally the only place and if you ain't got a helicopter you're, you're not you're not gonna win that one but if you've got the high ground around the edge of a zone and you're pushing around the edge of those those hillsides or the rooftops there's a pretty good chance you're going to be able to uh, take control of the situation and take out those threats as soon as possible pushing in zone nice <laughs> I'm being shot as well, close. Oh, behind us. Uh, to your left, Falcon. Oh, yeah, up here. I got movement. Target sighted. I'll creep up on them. No shields, no shields. None of them. Copy that. Mark, call for fire. Pushing around. Yeah, they died. Copy. Yeah, they died. Away. Well, those two up the hill. Yeah. Yeah. Any eyes on anybody? There's one left. Gas is That's a, our objective, kind of. We were sniping from there. Grenade out! Oh, yeah. I'm down. In yeah, what direction? He was there somewhere. Yeah. Nice. Easy peasy. Don't miss. That's uh, another important tip. Don't miss. Make sure you're loaded. Make sure you've got bullets. Make sure you've got bullets. Go to the shop and load your mags. Uh, make sure your safe is off. Of course, a lot of you that have been playing Warzone for a while now would already know uh, some of them are, uh, you know, things you'd have learned pretty quick. Uh, so, you know, maybe for new players, this would be greatly helpful. All those that haven't just realized how exactly this works. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I'm here for you. If you've got any more tips that you think are worth for a, a part two of this, let me know in the comments below, and we should do our best to help the community out and get those wins, because ain't nothing like getting that win feeling, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content I create. All the links are in the description below to our Facebook, Twitter, Discord, uh, Instagram. Yeah, we have Instagram. I love you all. I thank you for the amazing support, and I'll see you peeps next time uh, win here and you return to the front line you didn't jump me now <laughs> time to earn your freedom soldier <laughs> girl stuck oh, moment of I stuck him with my semtex <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh.